Hi, everyone. Um, thank you all so much for joining. Thank you for joining this past, um, let's see, this past uh, Tuesday session. I just need to uh, have one little technical difficulty, so I'm going to fix my music real quick. Um, so give me one second here. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I saw that. I think it will be okay. Um, all right, welcome everyone. We'll give everyone a few seconds to join in. So in the meantime, the session was titled Surprise Party. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed the surprise um, video that we put out today with my whole family training and joining me all the way from the US. Um, from my nephew, my nephew, what, how old is he now? Eight. <laughs> all the way up to my nana. So I had my nephew training, my niece training, was, in, was playing in college, uh, my mom, my dad, um, my sister-in-law, my brother. So it was really, really fun to, you know, create this video. I love clipping videos. So this was one of the most fun um, videos I've ever clipped and put together. So in this training today, we're going to combine everything we learn into a conditioning so it's going to be fun and it's also going to be very challenging. Um, so we're going to go over a lot of things that we learned in the past, in the warm-up and so on. And uh, we're going to continue to challenge ourselves. And um, don't be afraid to really push yourself today. So with that being said, um, when we're taking our ball, I want you to choose a goal to play for. So what goal are you passionate about? What goal do you want to play for? So the goal that I'm very passionate about is global goal number 10, reduce inequalities. So that will be the goal I'll be training for and playing for today. And um, one thing I like to highlight or that I highlighted with um, my project uh, when I was in the Global Goals World Cup last year within the European Coach Ambassador Program was the life of a professional women's soccer player. So the life of a professional women's soccer player, many players have coached, they, they have two jobs. They're a professional player and they're also, they have another type of occupation. I had one player that was a full-time lawyer and a full-time soccer player, another um, a full a police officer <laughs> and a soccer player, uh, a journalist, a soccer player, won, um, won the Euro Cup and also uh, worked at a cafe and played professionally. So now with that being said, I'm gonna play for goal number 10. So let's take the ball, I'm gonna start the music and let's go. Also today, I forgot to mention, um, we need tennis balls or socks or both. <laughs> so I'm going to start, let's see. Get my music going. Okay, so I'm going to take the ball. I have my tennis balls back here. So I can also use socks if I like. So with this, I talked about one of my sessions in quality education was um, brain-based training. So we take around, we're in around 3,000 to 5,000 thousand decision making situations in a game. So now we're going to take the ball. So nice and easy. So I'm just going to do two on my left, two on my right. So you can also do the same thing with the socks. So we're going to wake up the brain a little bit here. So two on the left, two on the right. Ole. So now I'm going to keep the ball going in my left hand. So I'm going to have the same pace here. And every once in a while, I'm going to throw the ball up with my right hand. So my left hand is staying at the same speed, and the right hand's coming up. So I, I don't want to stop this ball at all when I throw this one up. I want to see if I can keep the same rhythm up. And eventually throw this one up as well. I'm working on the movement flow here. Okay, so now we're going to try our right hand. So again, same rhythm, and then eventually we're going to play the ball. So I'm going to have the same rhythm on my right hand now, and when I can, a little bit higher on my left. So I have my right hand, steady rhythm here. Okay, next one, we also did a quality education session. Was I'm going to throw the balls up, I'm going to cross my hands and catch them, throw them up and press, catch them again. Now we're working with our upper part of
part of the body, we're working with the upper part of our brain, lower part of, lower part of the brain. When we cross, we're crossing sections of the brain. So cross, cross. So notice the balls come up in the air. The balls never cross, only my hands cross. So when I throw them up, I cross, throw up, catch again. So let's try a few. Remember, okay, now my left hand is over, and I have my left hand under. Ole, so you can stay here, the next challenge. So now, if I have my arms crossed, my legs are apart. When my arms are, when I throw the ball up and I catch here, I'm going to have my legs crossed. So it's going to come here, and I'm going to come here. So now my arms are crossed, my legs are apart. So I come here, 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 here. Okay. Um, I think my speaker ran out of battery, sadly, so I'm going to see if I can play the music from my computer here. Let's see. One second. Oh, I won't, I won't come here. A uh, little technical difficulties. It's okay. I'll, um, I'll play from my phone. <laughs> See if you guys can hear. Okay, so now we're back. Next part, so we're gonna take the ball. So I go here, I'm just nice and easy. Still part of the warm up. Every every time I warm up, I'm incorporating the ball. Exploring my face. Ole, so we're gonna stay here, and now we're gonna say every seventh number. So seven, 14, 21, 28, all the way up to 70. When we get to 70, we're gonna come back. Try and keep this flow. We're working on movement flow, like we did when we were juggling the ball. Now we're with our feet. So I'm keeping the speed. I'm gonna say seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Now I'm going to go back. So I started at 70. 63, 56, 49, 42, 35, 28, 21, 14, 7. So now we're coming, we're activating our core, everything starts and ends with the core. It's like I'm gonna pause the music here. So I'm gonna have the music here for a little bit. So I have the music for my phone now, but please feel free to press play on your own music. So now I'm going to come here. So I'm in like a, what Charlie called the crawl. So this is a monkey crawl. So I'm going to use my opposite hand, opposite leg, and I'm going to come forward. So I'm going to come back. So same thing. So I'm going to come forward here. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Same thing, we're going to go to the side, so I'm going to move laterally now. So my arms are coming together, my legs are moving, my core is tight, my back is straight. Ole. So we're back to the ball. Still warming up for the ball, so nice and easy ball tap, so we're switching feet every time. We have our music, I'm hearing the music. But If I can, I can also jump. I'm gonna go forward, then back. It's okay if I'm here. I'm 
Single the right. To the left. Circle. Reverse. Same thing. Forward, back, right, left, circle. So you can stay here or we can have a jump. You go back. To the right. To the left. And circle. Other way. One more time. To the right. To the left. And we circle. Other way. Ole. A little combination. Right leg on the ball. I go to my left. My left foot sits down next to the ball. I come behind. Box, box, down, behind. One, two. Let's close the ball, steps down, and come behind. One, two, now my right foot, down, and then behind. Up, up, down, behind. Right, left, down, down. I can go faster once I get it, so I'm going to jump myself. That's okay if I'm here. Four more. Ole. Next thing, a little bit of dynamic stretching. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to swing my legs forward. I'm going to go up to the side. I'm going to go across my body. I'm going to open up my hips. I'm going to come up and around. You have feet. I'm going to close now. I'm going from behind. I'm going to pull. Rotating my hips. Two more. Well done. Last part of the warm up, a little bit of juggling. So from here, a little bit of challenge. I'm just going to see from here, no spin the balls if I can. I've done this before. So I'm making sure everything's really close to my body here. I'm going to do two press Catch. Catch. Yeah, it's more than okay if I'm just here. Up. 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 so much for joining it's nice to see everybody <laughs> i hope everyone enjoyed um seeing the video my family training and joining me they're all joining me today 
I'm in Sweden, I'm in Sweden, they're in the US. Um, so now, in this, in this next session, so now the warm-up's complete, the next part is what I call pressure training. It's something I learned from my, my club back home, um, my academy back home called Soccer Plus, they also have camp. And um, pressure training was invented by my mentor, um, Tony DiCicco. And I was, I was very blessed to have him, to have him as a coach, to have him as a mentor. And one thing I learned from him, from my parents, from my family friends, is that I really value hard work. I, I find joy in working hard, working hard towards the goal. So for me, fun and joy is working hard towards the goal. So today we're going to work very hard. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to perform pressure training, about six different exercises. We're going to work as hard as we can for 30 seconds and rest. So I'm going to train as hard as I can. I'm going to train hard for my goals and really find joy in that working hard towards the goal. So now I'm going to take my sock. So we're up for the first exercise. So the first minute of the game, we're, we're about to start the game. So now I have my socks. So I'm going to put one as far as I can, whatever space I have. So I'm going to dribble the figure eight around my sock. So I'm going to come around this sock. I'm going to come around, explode, and come around here. So I'm going to see how many I can get in 30 seconds. So I'm going to go as fast as I can in 30 seconds. So again, one more time. I'm going to come around here, here, and so on. So I have the stopwatch. So are you guys ready? 30 seconds of the clock. Ready, set, go. Oh. Second, okay. come around. beyond your personal limit. So one thing I learned from Tony is he showed me that I can go much further than I thought I could. So now the next one. We have our chair. If I don't have a chair, I can use two socks. So I'm gonna start by pushing the ball through the chair, stopping it. I'm gonna come down, up, through the chair, stop, down, up. As quick as I can for 30 seconds. In 10 seconds, we start again. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. As quick as we can. If we mess up, we just grab the ball and do it again. And please, well done. <laughs> Next one. Okay, we're going to put our chip aside. We're almost halfway there. <laughs> I have my socks set up here. So what am I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the ball over here. I stop at the sock, I'm gonna run as fast as I can here, hot, run as fast as I can here, and then I roll with my right foot. So I'm rolling, rolling, stopping, coming to this song, coming to this song. Or sock in this case. Stop. I explode away, explode away. One thing I enjoy with 
most value of hard work is with pressure training. You know, they, they would say when we'd be doing this with players, one of my players, no one is working harder than you right now. So in this moment, <laughs> you need to outwork every opponent. So are you giving everything that you have um, for your goals? <laughs> so now we're going to take the ball. Let's go. In five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. So as quick as you can. Stop. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Let's see. So one thing I love about pressure training too and how I define joy is I define joy in working hard towards the goal and also I define joy in competing. I love to compete. I love the idea of competition and I really enjoy every aspect of that even even when we lose, when we win and so on. That you know, if we lose a game, what have we learned? What can we do to be better ne next game? If we win, okay, what was successful? What can we take with us to the next game? So everything's, it's an unfinished, <laughs> unfinished journey, really. So what I love about this is that I have joy in competition and joy in striving for excellence. So whether it be with a global goal or whether it be in football. So now we're going to take the ball. Halftime is over. Three more exercises. All right, next one. All right, with this one, I'm gonna start sitting down. So I'm gonna throw the ball up as high as I can in my apartment, stand up as quick as I can, and I'm gonna receive the ball, take the ball down the dribble. So let's see how it looks. I'm gonna throw it up, I'm gonna get the okay, the ball bounces, I take the ball down, I take a few dribbles, and then I'm going to sit down again and throw the ball back up. If I can get it before it bounces, then uh, that's the best. But if I need a bounce, more than five. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, yep, I receive it. As I go, a little dribble. I come down again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ten more seconds. And freeze. Well done. We have one more left, so I can imagine that everyone's tired. I'm tired too, but it's how we push through this moment. <laughs> how we push this moment to achieve a goal, to score a goal, to be to make that last second tackle um, so that opponent doesn't score. Last one, it's a little bit challenging. I'm gonna move the chair here, so I'm gonna use my wall a little bit. We focus on passing this past Tuesday with Denise, with the goalkeeper. I'm gonna pass against this wall. Right when I pass against this wall, I'm gonna come down, then I'm gonna come up, and then I pass the ball again. So I want to see if I can find that way to pass so right when I come up, the ball's at my feet. Yeah. I want to find a rhythm with this. The last 30 seconds of work. We can do it. Come on. 10 seconds to go. Find the wall. Get your ball ready. Five, four, three, two, one. When I pass, I can go down like this and pass again. Or I can come all the way down and come up. Two more. And freeze. Well done. Let me turn off the music. Take the ball here. All right. Whew. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for joining. Um, I've really enjoyed everything in the clubhouse. If you missed any sessions, there's incredible talks and training sessions all throughout the clubhouse and people with women from all over the world, some really inspiring women. So if you missed anything, please go on the Global Goals World Cup Facebook page or website and look in the clubhouse archive. You can find everything there. And if you want to redo a session, you can also find it there. This session is really hard. As you can see, I'm a bit out of breath. I really gave it my all. And what I love with pressure training and what I really learned from Tony, my parents and friends is that, you know, valuing hard work <laughs> and what it means to work hard and um, to really, you know, go all in with it and with this. So no matter what I do, I want to be the best that I do. If I'm, you know, kicking the ball around, I want to be the best me. I want to always be one day older or not. I always, I don't always want, I don't want to be one day older. I want to try and be one day better. And um, so with that, thank you everyone for joining the Dance with the Ball series and um, everything that we've done for the goals and that you've done for the goals. And feel free to share anything with me at any time. And um, I look forward to seeing all the clubhouse sessions and I'm sure I'll be back. So thank you to all the healthcare professionals and everyone that's still working. I hope everyone is still staying, still staying, staying stay safe and as well, and that your families are well. And um, I look forward to following all the clubhouse sessions from here on out. Thank you.